here in 2020 on a separate topic. You introduced a bill in 2020 called the Reforming Qualified Immunity Act, which dealt with legal protections for police officers. That bill was criticized by some law enforcement agencies before you ultimately backed down from those comments. As governor, what reforms of qualified immunity would you support now? You have 60 seconds. So when that happened, that was to try to codify something that would have been better when it looked like it was going to be a runaway with crazy stuff like defunding police. I want to make it loud and clear. The only one here on the stage that's got an endorsement from a law enforcement agency is me, the Indiana Troopers, and from the National Troopers Coalition. I listened to them there. They rather that you didn't do anything because they thought it could do something that would take away what they've currently got, even if you'd codify it in a way that seems like it would have put it into a protection to at least get rid of frivolous lawsuits. I think it's clear that was an intention to do something better. And when I heard they didn't want to do anything, I listened and didn't do it. And now we've litigated that. I'm the only one getting endorsed by a police agency here in our own state, as well as national troopers as well. I'll trust their judgment. So to clarify here in 15 seconds, do you support any reforms of qualified immunity currently? No, I think it's loud and clear what we've got they're happy with. Okay, Ms.